I'll put it in Might. Why not? And then I can change this. Um, as a Paladin, I have Auras. Keep Might on, and Might will increase my damage uh, by 40% right now, which in this point of the game is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but, you know, what's 40% more than one? It's still going to be one. We've already found Flavy. Wow. What's up, Flavy? You can see her on the map. There she is. What's up? What did you guys drop? I'll take those. At least sell them. What's up, Flavy? Oh, snap. I am probably not ready for, for this. But I'm going to try. Yeah, that makes sense. Normal mode, act one. Ridiculously easy. I can take on stuff that I'm not supposed to yet. What's that? Scroll of Identify? I will take it. Oh, entering the Cold Plains in the, in the Blood Mine. You'll notice that there's not, like, a single dungeon here like there was in Diablo 1. They really did spread out. In fact, we're fighting on planes. Turn What's up, back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next wilderness. Uh, she would be right if I just totally didn't kick everybody's ass. But I'll, I'll try to do things in order. <laughs> Plus, I, I do need to get that quest. Uh, the Den of Evil is supposed to be around here somewhere. It's supposed to be here in the blood more. Oh, found more fallen. Die. What's this? Ooh, a skill shrine. Oh. Oh, trap chest with a zombie in it. Still haven't found a key. Can't go back to that other chest yet. Usually, you can find a key by now. I think that was the first time I got hit right there. That might have been <laughs> the first time I got hit. I don't know how far we are into the video, but I just finally got hit once. Now, yes, life doesn't regain slowly. I believe mana does regen. It's very, very slowly, but it does go back up. And considering I only have like 16 magic. Ooh, stamina potion. That, that will give you a time when uh, your stamina will not go down no matter how much you run. I'll probably use that so that I can run back to town when I finally do need to. Ooh, Stringling Gas po Potion. Now this is the only game that I know of where you are not going to be a high enough level to throw shit. So th you, you need to be a level 6 uh, t to throw this potion. Oh, this is ethereal? Uh, basically what that means is once the durability goes to zero, it's just gone forever. So even though it's socketed, it is crap. Now with the sockets, you can put uh, the, the the jewels in there. Did I pick up bolts? I don't need bolts. Yeah, if you use um, a bow uh, or a crossbow in this game, you will need arrows and bolts. So I typically don't go that route. Uh, I, I like charging in and swinging my sword. That's just how I like to play. Not everybody's going to be that way, though. It looks like my skill shrine went down. Basically, if I use a skill, well, if you have a skill like my, like I'm using the aura right now, uh, that that goes up. All right, uh, really. In terms of of looting right now, we're we're not doing too well. I haven't really found anything good. I haven't even found armor yet. Uh, oh. For the record, if there's pretty like 90% of the time, if there's a road. Uh, the whatever quest you need to go to is going to be on the road. So let us go down this side of the road because I already see where we need to go. And it's right there. And we, hopefully we can fight something good that'll drop something good along the way. So at least I have some form of armor because right now... I'm, I'm basically a berserker. There we go. Damaged leather armor. You see, he automatically equips it. Automatically goes in there. It's not very good, to be honest with you. I mean, there, there's definitely worse armor out there, but it's it's damaged leather armor. It's, it's not that great. So we're going to do this again. One, 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 two, three. And once again, I highly suggest against energy. But we'll get over to why later. Um, is there anything else I need right now? Uh, yes. Put one in prayer for now. Really, I just want to put one in those skills up there, and I'm going to be saving the rest for a while. So, yeah. You might, you might see me with, with this thing. Evil uh, dwells within this cave. 
Yes, evil does dwell within this game. You might see me with this this button red for for a while. Yeah, kill all the monsters. Okay, can do. That sounds like a good quest. Are the monsters gonna be tough? Oh, we got a gargantuan beast. Oh, it takes more than one hit for him to die. That that would be the first. What is that crack sash? Automatically on. It'll probably break very soon. I might need a replacement. It's okay. Now that I have money, I can buy better stuff. Die, zombie. Okay, with uh, with these fallen, occasionally they'll have a shaman with them. You want to kill the shaman. Just, you know, clear a path if you have to. Get to the shaman. The shaman revives all the rest of the fallen. And I don't believe you get more experience for killing the same uh, fallen if he's resurrected. So just, just take out the shaman. There's no point not doing that. Hell Shrine does exactly what you think it would do. Gives you back some health. Ooh, a blue sash. The first blue item of the game, and it's not that great. It's a sash. But I will check it out. Is there anything over here? Uh, basically, scroll of identify is what you're going to need to use here. Attacker takes damage of one. Sash of thorns. That's, that's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, basically, if somebody hits me, they get damage back because I have thorns on my belt, apparently. Let's go down here. Take on these zombies! Die, zombies! Oh, I'm getting surrounded! Oh, no! A crude dagger. I don't have anything better on my secondary... Oh, there's a shaman. You see that guy got resurrected there? So let's go. Take... Well, down he went. Oh, it's not nearly as cl as climactic as I thought it was going to be. Alright. Yes, I do have to kill every single one here. And you will know as soon as you do. You do kill all of them. Because, uh, well, yeah. You'll, you'll know, trust me. Those, you know, the, the quest thing will change. The whole landscape changes for some reason when you kill all the monsters in here. And I don't think that ever happens again. And I think this was... Uh, this was the demo. Oh, we got a special! Our first special! Oh, crap. Where is it? Where? There. There he is. Alright, this is Corpse Fire. He's got a special hit on him. That is not a good ability for me. Alright, did have to heal. Now, specials in this game, they drop usually... Okay, specials, if they have a name, right? They drop five things. They'll drop right there in the middle and then four potions. They'll, they'll drop an item and four potions. Uh, you you want to grab... Uh, I would normally say grab anything blue and sell it. But since it's a guitar, I'm going to avoid it. Um, I'll take a look. I'll, I'll hold it for now. But I'm going to dump it before I, uh, before I even get back to town. If, uh, if I run out of space. And I'll show you why. Um, quest log. Oh, once you get down to five, it, it starts uh, giving you a countdown. So I only need to kill four more. I swear there were two levels to this place. I could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. All right, here's one that I missed. It looks like I missed some stuff up here. So let's go back that way, and I can clean out the den and go back to town, and then we can call. We can call it a quest. Which is always nice to finish off a quest. Damage club. It's crap. Eventually, I'll start finding better stuff. And I won't need to even look at white stuff on the ground. But for right now, I just need something. I'll take another crude dagger. Why not? Mana Shrine refills your, your mana, as you might expect. You lost one? You are. Yeah, the whole landscape changes. Your warrior says something. My duty here is done. There we go. It took you forever. But we have finished uh, the quest in here. Almost up to the next level. Good lord, what am I, level 3? Yeah, I'm almost up to level 4, just beating the first quest. So, um, they want me to go back to, uh, to Akara and tell her, Hey, I'm done. But first I want to try to finish exploring the blood more, a little bit more. Because there are new enemies, well not new enemies, there are more enemies for me to take on here. And I want to kill all of them, try to get as much experience 
as I can, and I am overburdened. Okay, uh, let's go around this corner here. That's good enough. Uh, this is guitar. Uh, anything that's assassin only does not sell well. I mean, this thing probably will sell for about... Uh, th it doesn't matter what the scroll of identify says. It's probably going to sell for about uh, 30 or 40 gold and compared to all the other stuff that we've got here. I uh, do need to equip one of these. doesn't matter. They're the same. I can go there and then uh, switch back with the hockey and W. Okay. Grab the chip down world. Short sword and a level up and a cracked throwing knife. You can use throwing knives in these games. I don't know why you would. Um, there we go. Made room for the short sword. We'll see how good that is. Especially since it's socketed. That is always good. Always pretty good. Well, I don't know exactly what I have on hand right now uh, that I'll that I can use that on, but always good. Always go into these buildings here. I believe I already went in this one now. Alright, now for the level up once again. Jeez, we're just doing this all the time, it seems like. Alright, and let's see. Do I need... No, I don't need a resist fire. I don't need that. Do I need anything here? Charge. Okay, so I do need smite. Just just one in smite. And we can move on and try to go back to town. We should be able to go back to town very, very shortly. I mean, we do have the town portals, but, you know, I'm, I'm right there pretty much. I might as well run back. Plus, we need to talk to Akara once I get there. It's a regular sash. I heard he have something better than that. Apparently the game wants to give me sashes. They they don't think I have enough belts, apparently. So let's go back into the rogue encampment. Uh, as soon as you stop running in here, your stamina will fill up. Like so. And then it doesn't matter if you run or not. It, it'll fill up. We need to talk to Akara. Yeah, because, because there's an exclamation point over her head. And that's when you talk to people. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Okay, so she gave us another skill point, which would be awesome, but I can't use it yet. Um, yeah, there's nowhere for me to, to use it. Anything else will be wasted, pretty much, yeah. Oh. Uh, you can't use these until level 6, and that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Actually, what I'm looking for, you know, is down here. So, yeah, not going to use skills for a while now. Doesn't look like... Oh, I was Hello? about to say, I don't have another quest, but Kasha has one for me. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. And our silent warrior agrees, because you can never say no. So one quest done. I, oh, I love that. So it gives you a sense of completion. You've burned that quest, apparently. So now we need to find Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the Cold Plains. Now, if uh, if this was multiplayer and I needed to level grind for whatever reason, I could exit and come back and everything would be new. It would be as if I started a new game, yet with my character and, and the quests and all my items and stuff like that. So it... But basically what I mean is that everything out here would be random, randomly generated again, because this game does randomly generate all dungeons, uh, but in multiplayer. Does it every time you create the, the server, so to speak. So let's talk to, talk to, to Charcy, see what she has available. Now that we've got some money, actually, I do need to identify that wand that I still have. Yeah. What kind of wand is it? I don't really care. Yeah, you know, just 10% faster cast rate. That's all that it does. 
that's not that great in terms of wands. Wands are typically used for necromancers. I believe necromancers use that the most. But you can see there, yeah, it sells for almost 2200 gold, which is awesome. Just sell all this crap. I'm not going to be using it ever, ever. Um, now I'll find more if I need to show that off. I'm going to hold on to that for now. This thing is awesome. I'm going to hold on to that too. Uh, Stringling gas potion again. Belt. Oh man, this will be the only time that I show you uh, the the buying screen. Just going to do it once. Uh, then Just so you guys get a hang of what it looks like and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. This is basically what I'm here for. 12% enhanced. How much is that going to cost me? I will take it. I will take the skull cap. Automatically equips. You don't even need to equip it. Alright, what do we got here? One to life, five to mana. That's... Yeah, I mean, everything gives you plus to mana or regen mana. That's why you don't have to go for energy in this game. Alright, 21, 32. This stuff is, is just too expensive right now. Um, really? I'll go for this one. Yeah, I'll go for that. And then I can sell this one. Don't need to. What kind of shields do you got? I've only got the standard buckler. Uh, defense of 5, chance to block 30. Nice. Uh, faster hit recovery. Really faster hit recovery? Is that expensive? I, I'll just use this one. And then... Uh, I can put that one there. Why not? Then, I do need gloves. I don't have a high enough level to reduce poison length, apparently. So, we're going to go with... Uh, what are these? Oh, plus to, to attack rating. I, I'm not a big fan of that. And you'll see why eventually. But attack rating... I have so much attack rating, it's not even going to be worth it. Okay, then he's got these heavy boots. Uh, plus 29... Percent enhanced defense. So, uh, really, yeah, these are, these are the way to go here. In terms of belts, uh, the sash that I got is pretty much the best thing right now, surprisingly. And then, in terms of weapons, uh, you can get swords here um, that, well, nothing that great. So, I might as well just sell this one. Now, I'll keep that. Then, I'll sell this. Might as well put this on right now. Uh, I love this, a repair all button. Just click it once and, and you're done. And then we can move on. Uh, let me dump some stuff into, uh, into the stash here. And then I'll check out uh, Akara's stuff. <laughs> 